Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, thanks for joining me. Today, Unplanned Podcast, Matt and Scabby decided to do another podcast with Kay and Tay, who in my opinion, one of the worst, emerging as the worst, child exploiters and like family vloggers and influencers on the internet. They are so terrible. When I dropped that photo of Tay and the DV charge, they all thought it would just go away and now it's ramping up and so now they have to talk about it. They're forced to come out and speak about it because they just thought it would go away. They make so much effing money and so we're gonna talk about their story again here and debunk everything they say and make fun of them a little more, shall we? Okay, let's go. So since the last video I did on them, um, we talked about Tay's DV charge and it kind of was a big surprise to a lot of people. It's public information. You can get it anywhere you want. Um, and she reached out to me, Kay and, well, I think it was Tay. I, I told you all about the, the DMs, how it was her who reached out to me, but it was definitely Tay probably talking to me. I think Tay Taylor is an absolute control freak. I think that he keeps her close because that's his money. I think that he does have DV tendencies. I mean, he was charged with it. I think that he is the, uh, I used to say, well, maybe she wears the pants. No, 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 no. She's in a relationship with a guy who absolutely has to have 100% control and he takes care of everything. Now they'd work on this together. They make the money together. And so one of the big stories that happened in the last videos was she came out and she told everybody she has like a daughter, an older daughter. Okay, and but she had this child that they're exploiting right now currently and it acted like this was their first and only child because it's with Taylor um, and people were surprised to know that she had an older daughter, but the dad of that older daughter doesn't want her on the internet and that's what Kay has told us. Okay, which is like high five to that dad for protecting his daughter. Now she has that daughter on her private social media, which is such a stupid cop out because she still makes money doing it. It still all conglomerates into one account. It all adds to her fame. And so she tries ways to get around it and currently is fighting for custody of that child. And it seems like who, who else did this? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out who did this. Um, uh, there was an argument with that what's a, more than Elizabeth or whatever where people are trying to fake what they actually make so when they show the judge what they make they don't have to pay that much child support these people especially this woman who is the mother of this child is trying her darndest to not pay a penny as little as she can possibly pay by putting all the money and all the finances in Taylor's name and only paying herself the minimum amount and so they can get away with it yet they're buying a million dollar house right now right and she's trying to figure out how she could pay the least amount so she can support her daughter the least. But what she's probably going to tell everybody is that she's like, well, no, because if she was living with me, I'd be able to pay these things. And you know, she doesn't want her dad to have custody of her. She wants to have the custody so she can exploit this child more on this channel. Right. And so in the end, you support your child that you don't, regardless of what you get out of it. Okay. And she doesn't. And that's the problem. And there's way more, okay? I have trusted inside sources way more. And I can't even say it yet. But there is so much more that as soon as I'm allowed to tell you guys, I'm going to tell you. And it's going to blow up their channel. Because you're going to actually find out who they really are. And when I tell you you're not ready, you're not ready. I know everybody gets pissed at me for saying that and always talking about that. But in this case, it's absolutely true. And I know it's a lot of her past and maybe she's changed, but you gotta know where they came from so you can see where they are and who they really are today. Because it's not, it is nothing like they portray. And you know, they're probably gonna say something like that in this video, like, well, you know, we're not perfect. We didn't, we're not perfect. We're not perfect people. We know you're not. But you put it across like you are and that's the danger of social media. That's why there's so many laws being put in place where kids aren't allowed on here anymore. Because you portray something that you are not leaving the those who are watching feeling like they are nothing like they can't achieve what you have people get jealous it's the way it is people want to compare themselves and want what you have and they'll never have it these people who put this stuff out there who are not actually truthfully being who we really are that's dangerous man that's also one of the major reasons i talk about this stuff because these people are so fake and they come and they come across like they're perfect 
And then this DV charge pops up and they're like, oh my gosh, I can't all our money. <laughs> what pisses me off the most is that this t the, is that Kay comes across as she's like this perfect super mom, amazing woman. She's so sweet. She flares her nostrils and she goes, ah, I love food and crosses her eyes and rolls her eyes in the back of her head when she eats food. She thinks she's so cute and perfect. She's evil. This woman is way worse than you guys will ever know until it comes out. Okay, it's crazy what she is an evil person. Okay, that's all I can tell you. Her her past is a bananas when you see what she has done. And the thing is, is she comes across like she's a super mom. She's amazing. But they just bought a home out of state from her daughter. So if you absolutely love your daughter and you want to be close to your daughter and you want to be part of their life, why would you leave? Right. She moved out since she's been away for a long time. They travel all the time. Why would you leave if you want to be so close to your daughter? These people are social media influencers. They can literally live anywhere and do their job. It's not like they have to move to state for a job or whatever the case may be. They can go anywhere and live the high life anywhere. But they moved away. She is not a super mom. She is a disgustoid. Taylor is a domestic violencer. Okay? It's in the records. I don't care what they say here. I do. But I don't care. Do you know what I mean? He's they're gonna they're all they're doing right now is damage control and it makes it worse. And I haven't even seen this yet. It just dropped. So let's snark. Let's go, nostrils. People need to hear the truth. Our goal in here wasn't like to come up. People on. need to hear the truth that we're gonna tell them the lies is what they're saying right there. I'm here and convince everyone. I'm not here to make people believe me. I'm here for the people that wanna know the the real story. Oh, that what you're here for, Taylor. Okay. We're not perfect. We've never said we're perfect. He doesn't just... There. <laughs> she said it. The hate that he's getting online when that's not who he is. Well, it kind of is who he is. There's the... There's the record. You know, there's the arrest record. So, It is who he is! Are we lying to people? Yes, you are lying to people. Because we didn't tell them? No. Why? Yes, you are! I'm not clear it up for them as soon as you start seeing this information. I was just scared to be very vulnerable. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to, sh to tear this shit to shreds. And open up about... Tear it to shreds! really embarrassing about her life. Oh my god, good night, <laughs> We sat down with social media couple Kay and Tay, who have come under scrutiny after an incident from their past came to light. In 2019, Tay was charged with alleged harassment. The charges were later dismissed, but over this past- Doesn't matter, was arrested! Last week, the mugshot resurfaced, prompting rumors of everything from the couple getting a divorce to Tay being in jail. Well, he was in jail for a bit there when he got arrested. Warning, this episode contains the discussion of sensitive topics. This episode okay. of Unplanned is brought to you by Huggies. Oh my God. Are you sitting here? We're here to clear. And here's Huggies. Let me read it off my phone. I can't even memorize the lines. F off. There's been a lot of things circulating online about the two of you, your relationship. You mean the truth has been circulating online. Is that what you meant to say, Teeth? Is that what you meant to say, Scabby? The truth has been found? Stop saying a lot of things circulating. Somebody found the truth and posted it on the internet. That somebody was me. Allegations, a mugshot, and you guys have stayed completely silent on all fronts. No, she, they haven't. They emailed me a lot. And you asked to talk about it here. And I'm wondering why here, why now? It was five years. It was over five years ago for us. I don't understand why people are like, well, hey, domestic violence me five years ago. So <laughs> it's all in the past. But we just feel like at this point a lot of people are getting the story wrong and they're they're lying and twisting things and there's a lot of false narratives going around and we just feel like it's time to tell the true story of what actually happened because people need to hear the truth and i think also people need to hear the truth we need to feed to them so they're basically people need to hear the lie we're about to make up but we're going to call it the truth okay like i kind of wanted to just come out and talk about it but how do millionaires have the worst haircuts Okay, you know, she's very open with like her postpartum depression and health journey as far as that goes. And so she's not open with anything. You're open with it. You're the one who runs the social media. You're the one who forces her to do all these things. You're the one who runs it all, bro. She's not open with anything. You force her and you're the one forcing everybody to exploit this child, too. It's all you. This is the mastermind. Don't get it twisted. It's not her. She didn't have the brain capacity for it. It's this guy. 100%. Now that we know he has a DV charge, you know that's the type of personality he has. Military, ex-military. Um, that type of, like, really driven, kind of, like, 
do what I say kind of like angry man child type of thing that's him it's also been kind of waiting for her to be able to handle you know talking about it because it's hard when you get like all this hate and all these people spreading lies and rumors and what is the lie you are arrested for domestic violence what's the lie nobody lied about it there's a damn mugshot with you smiling in it you know it's not true but you know, you still see it every day. And so I think we're finally at a point where she's ready to, to speak about it. Yep. Oh, yeah. Because it got into like magazines and stuff. It's like articles. So we're at a point now because it's starting to blow up. We thought it would blow over. It didn't. So now we're at a point where we can talk about it. So you say this was... I'm translating for you. From five years ago. What are you specifically referring to? So the, the whole story in question, it happened... Five and a half years ago on my birthday. Being, on your birthday? On my birthday. Just being fully transparent, that night we were drinking wine and playing Minecraft. And we, we used to call it Minecraft. That was something that we used to do. It's like a drunk video gaming. A game. It was yeah. just like a it little, was really fun. it was just a fun game. And, and that was what I wanted to do for my birthday. And so we drank wine. And I know I've spoken about my autoimmune journey a few times and how it's been about five years. Well, that was right around the time that I first started taking medication, prescription medication for the autoimmune problems that I was having. And so I had been on a new medication for about a Are they about to blame being on medication and then being drunk on DV? Because I don't care. I don't care. Also, if the thing says don't drink with your medicine, don't drink with your medicine, asshole week and I had never drank with that medication before and my doctor didn't tell me not to drink with it and I did you not read the damn pamphlet think in hindsight I probably should have maybe made sure but at the time I just took my medication before bed like normal and but you didn't take it before bed like normal you took it before you video gamed we went to bed and then I woke up maybe what? two three hours later and I was completely confused. I didn't understand what I was doing. I didn't understand that I hadn't celebrated my birthday. I thought I, I thought that we hadn't celebrated yet. And I wanted to leave. I was trying to drive and, and leave the house. She's severely downplaying this, big by the way, like severely. And Taylor obviously could tell that I was having like a medical emergency. I wasn't acting myself. Yeah. And he was trying. Remember, she said that. Taylor saw that I was having a medical emergency. And keep me on the bed, keep me from leaving. I was also confused because we had just woken up in the middle of the night. Yeah, too. he was probably she thinking, was just like, what is going on? Digging for her keys, and I'm like, what is going on? Wait, can we go back just a bit? Shut up, Taylor, let her say it. He's like, he has to chime in and be like, okay, don't forget this thing, you know, the thing we talked about. So, uh, were you guys drunk this night, or was we it? We didn't drink more we... than any other time, like, no. playing. So, yes, you were drunk. Minecraft and drinking wine. Like, I, I think mean, we split one bottle of wine. I remember. She's like four foot one. She was drunk. Going to bed. Like, I wasn't at all drunk. Like, um, were you, was, yeah, you were. living together at the time? We were married. We were living together. Oh, yeah. Duh, yeah. But there were, no, there were no children at home. Kinsley was with her father at the time. So. That's because, you know why Kinsley was with her father at the time? Because Kinsley's father has majority custody. Do you know why? Because reasons. That's why. If this guy was abusive, like you said on the last podcast, there's no way he would have custody of this child. She lied about that too, which is crazy to me. She went out, uh, and that's why like this whole thing is blowing up. Because she's not only doesn't want to help support Kinsley, but she hates her ex so much that that's why she does it. She wants to like hurt her daughter that she loves because she doesn't want the dad to have any extra help whatsoever. Because she wants to force his hand to be like, okay, well, I can't afford it. Take the, that's it. That's all she's trying to do. And that's crazy to me. This woman who comes across like she's some super mom. This is a disgusting piece of shit, by the way. That's gross to do that. If you truly loved your kid, it wouldn't matter who the dad is. You do what you got to do for your kid. And she doesn't. She puts all her finances in Taylor's name. She, the channel's in Taylor's name. All the ad reads and everything they do, all the money they make, all in Taylor's name. But I don't think the real estate transaction is just in his name. So I think this is going to come back to bite her on the ass. Because remember, she's in court paying a lawyer literally thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars so she doesn't have to pay support for her child. The amount of money she probably paid for this high-priced lawyer, she could have just given and supported her daughter. That's crazy to me. She'd rather throw it away than just give it to her daughter. 
it was just us at the house and we went to bed like normal and and this was two to three hours later you woke up yeah and you thought you need yeah according to this uh court filing k in the custody docs um uploaded to reddit you could find this too it says um, she sold her part of the S of the LLC to Tay for zero dollars. Now, why would she do that? Why would she sell her whole business to Tay, right? Because she doesn't want to literally pay support for the kid that she's responsible for too. That's the reason. That's crazy. Now, this was all released before this judge gagged it, so we're allowed to say it here. I guess I hope anyway. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. You guys, she's sitting on here. Trying to be all like, like whining medicine when she's literally trying her best. Because if she actually showed the judge the money that she made, she would owe, like, I'm telling you guys, hundreds of thousands of dollars in child support. Hundreds of thousands. And that's, they don't want to. They don't want it. They don't want to give this guy what he's owed. He's been raising this child for 12 years. Okay? She's been like, maybe have her has her once every other weekend, sometimes takes her on a trip, sometimes. Right, but just but the fact is, she doesn't want to give support if she can't also exploit this child to make the money back. That's that's who these people are, man. The bigger they are, the harder they fall, and these people are gonna fall real hard. You watch. You need to leave the house, or I, she was just like ready to celebrate. I was just ready to celebrate my birthday, and I didn't understand that we had already celebrated my birthday, and like we went to bed, and he was trying to explain that to me, and where's my cake? <laughs> I was trying to leave the house. He had to at one point hide the keys from me. I was falling off the bed, trying to get out. I was stumbling around. He They're holding it back. I, they're making it sound like, oh, I was just, you know, looking for keys and stuff. They're probably fighting. He was trying to carry me. She's violent, and so is he, by the way. He put me back on the bed, and I think at the time I was mad because Taylor didn't want to celebrate my birthday with me, and I thought, well, we haven't celebrated yet. That sounds normal. And he was like, well, we, we did. We need to get back in bed because he knew that if I left, I would hurt myself driving a car or hurt somebody else. So, so she's having a medical emergency. Don't forget it all, everybody. So... Basically, it ended where I said, I'm going to call the cops if you don't let me leave. And in his mind, he's like, okay, call the cops. Maybe they'll come and help you. Like, he wanted them to come because mm -hmm. he wanted them to help me. He said... <laughs> Matt, now you're not believing anything that they're saying. Matt's like, uh -huh. the f***? What are we doing? You're having a medical emergency. Something's not right. Like, we were not drunk. There was no reason that I should have been acting like that. So, so you're thinking... It you shared a bottle of wine? Okay. It was the combination of the Taylor weighs as much as you do. So, eh, I don't know alcohol or anything, but... The medication and the alcohol. Well, it was confirmed later that it was based on mm -hmm. my symptoms by my doctor. She was like, yeah, you were not supposed to drink with that medication. I didn't know that. And yeah, you did. And obviously never drink with it again. <laughs> but at the time, I just took my medication like normal and I went to bed. The best way I can describe it is like if you've ever seen someone with dementia and they're like fully convinced that like they don't live there or maybe they don't know who their caregiver is mm -hmm. and they're like fully convinced. Mm -hmm. Like that's what it seemed like. with. How do you know? Hey, she was fully convinced that she hadn't celebrated her birthday yet and that we needed to go and do something. And she, it's like she couldn't grasp that it was in the middle of the night and she couldn't grasp that it was just so what? weird. So maybe you should have taken her somewhere for her birthday. Maybe Chuck E. Cheese was still open. What time was this at? I don't remember the exact time. It, it had to be like 3, 4, three, four in the four morning. morning. Was um, this interaction that was happening at 3 or 4 in the morning, was it like a yelling match? Was it... It was more confusion. Like what... Mm. No. What are you doing? Why Why are you trying to try? Look how, look how much you're trying to dump. This guy got arrested. They're trying to be like, it was more like, oh, are you okay, honey? I'm fine. I just want to go for my birthday. They make it sound like it's nothing. You think cops are arriving and arresting someone for nothing? Like, hey, this is not safe. Like, and Kay, of course, is like a, a completely the other way. She's like, he's lying. He's what do you such mean? such a liar. I mean, like, we haven't done anything yet. Like, we need to go. Like, this isn't fair. It's not fair that I didn't get to celebrate. And obviously, she's being a baby, too. He was getting nowhere with it. Um, this went of like an hour, it was a short 30 minutes. Thing. It was short. a very Maybe short 10 thing. minutes. Yeah, it wasn't like... 30 minutes, one said, he said 10, someone said an hour, whatever. So long. Probably, it is what it is, we're lying to you. It took longer to describe it than the actual event. Yeah. Why Why so short, though? Because I feel like, obviously, I get what you're saying. Like, you, you were drinking, you took your medicine. Matt doesn't believe a word that's coming out of these people's face holes. And, and you're not supposed to do that at the same time. But to go from, you know, confusion in 10 minutes to calling the police, like, why why did that escalate so quickly? I think some background. Kay's dad was, like, a chief of police. So when Kay is very, like, police are, like, the go-to. Like, you know, like... 
Like, Are you gonna help me? Yeah, like, like mm-hmm. it, it's not. A, it wouldn't be unnatural for Kay, you know, in a situation where something was going on. She's the one that calls the police. You know, if you're at a restaurant, and there's a fight. Kay's like, I'm gonna call the police. Yeah. You know, that was just that's very natural to her. And I think I felt like that's what I. It was just like an almost like. Wow. I hope you guys did some stretching before you made that reach, because you're gonna pull your shoulder out of its freaking socket there. What? <laughs> It's so stupid. Instinctual, like, if somebody's going to help me get out of this house, like, that's who I'm going to call. She didn't like the fact that she couldn't drive, and she didn't understand that it was in her best interest not to drive. Yeah. Because, oh, another another note, we live, like, three minutes from society. Every really road from our house to anywhere is unlit, windy cliffs. Mm-hmm. Mm, like, it, Kay would it wasn't not... wasn't safe. It, cliffs! It would Marcus. not have been safe for her to drive. Yeah. Did you ask her, like, where do you want to go? Yeah, that's where I learned it was her... Chuck E. Cheese. For her birthday. Like, at first, when she first woke up, she would... Maybe it's uh, Cheesecake Factory. That's a good place to go. She's just looking for her keys. And I didn't understand why. And she was like, it's to celebrate my birthday. And just hide the keys then, bro. And be like, go, oh, see you later. She can't go anywhere. It's hide the keys. And that's where I kind of learned all those details. Wow. So you get on the phone with the police and... <laughs> Mad Debbie. Oh, yeah, totally makes sense. Doesn't make sense. They're lying. And what do you tell them? I think I just told them something like... I'm not allowed to leave my house. I need you to come let me leave my house. I need you to come and... Can somebody please get that phone call? That would be fantastic. Is that like... Can you get that through a freedom of information? I can't leave my house. I want to leave my house. Okay, we're on our way to let you leave your house then. They make it sound so like, oh, it's just fine. It's what it is. I don't Did you hear this phone him. call? Yeah, she. I didn't talk to him, but I was just sitting there. Yeah. And I mean, at the time, like, he would have no reason to think that he should not be there or be scared of the cops coming. Mm-hmm. Like, he actually was like, I'm glad they're coming. I'm glad they can handle the situation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, so In my mind, they were going to tell Kay, hey, yeah. yeah, you can't drive. Like, duh. And then Kay was going to be like, okay. Or maybe at that point, she would be good. And you know what I mean? Yeah. Or, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? They could have at least sent some, like, I don't know, paramedic or somebody to just check me out. Make sure- so why didn't you call 911, dumbass? Sure, I was okay. They were having a she's about to give crocodile tears. The, she was having a medical emergency, and this guy didn't call a paramedic. Don't see. They started this whole thing off with a lie because as soon as you say something like that, that big, she was having a medical emergency, and you don't do anything about the medical emergency, then I don't believe you, and neither does anybody else. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Gotta pull out the crocodile tears. We cried about it. It's not such a big deal. Okay. Cut this part out, Matt. Don't be such a loser. You can take a minute. That's okay. But no one believes you. You know, it is what it is. It happens. It is. That it is. He's a domestic violencer. And why are you no. crying? It's not even. Why what are you crying about? It's not that sad of a story. It's not. It has nothing to do with it. it. What are you crying about? If this is the truth, you're like, look, this is the truth. It's not that big of a deal. Why would you cry then? Why is it, why is it affecting you so much? It's because it's affecting their money. That's what she's crying about right now. She's crying about the fact that it's affecting their effing social media platform. She's faking it. These people are so damn fake. The only thing I can say- Even her tears are beige. Is that I wasn't myself. I've never been like that and I've never been like that since. But, but, Basically, the events that happened after, or the cops finally showed up after like, like 30, twenty minutes, minutes. we live in the middle minutes. of nowhere. They keep saying different times. Um, and they were all I remember being super nice, and they took they separated us obviously and wanted to question us. Mm-hmm. And in my opinion, I don't think I should have been formally interviewed. You called the police. What did you expect? You have a dad who's a policeman or whatever, a police sergeant or whatever she said, police captain or something, and you don't know? Okay. In the state that I was in. Mm-hmm. I, do you mind me asking in that 20 to 30 minutes where you're waiting on the cops, what is the interact, what's the scene like inside the house? It's basically calmed down at that point and Kay's just sitting there. And I'm just she, waiting on the cops together. Kay thought she was right to drive. I thought she wasn't right, right to drive and the police were going to be that deciding factor. And then when they got there, they separated us. They questioned both of us. I don't know exactly what they said to you. We were ch- chatting about the most random stuff. Like I gave them the initial like. You what, don't know. You haven't talked about it since? Okay. I'm down like, yeah, she's not... Does anybody believe anything coming out of their mouth right now? These people are damn liars. 
she wants to leave. I was trying to tell her not to drive. And then we ended up talking about, like, a deer that got caught on the guy's camera. Yeah, on his, it was very... It was just so chill. Like, we were just chatting. It was very not, like, this big dramatic thing. And then the other cop was asking me questions like, do you feel like you're unsafe here? Do you feel... And, of course, at the time, I'm like, yes, I need to leave. I need to leave this house. Mm -hmm. I should not have been questioned in that condition. Yeah, you should have been. Cops came and they're like, okay, well, you don't want us here. Like, let's figure it out. Something's going on, clearly. And I don't understand to this day why medical personnel were not called. Because you didn't call them make sure i was okay because he was even telling them like she's not we weren't drunk like what happened like from the time we went cops gonna believe you when you're like did you drink yes okay well i'm not a detective or anything but i could put two and two together you drank a bottle of wine together oh okay and play twister or something okay yeah okay yeah you're probably not drunk to bed she was normal to now this it doesn't make sense your speech was coherent i don't in my opinion think i looked drunk it's probably a body cam out there of this is she somebody find the body cam footage please please just it seemed like she wasn't cognitively there that's yeah. what i was saying like dominion. i want to see this body cam footage with all my heart I think a lot of people would like to see that body cam footage. She has a great example of like someone that's talking, but they're just not, they're it's so not sure, connecting. But it obviously like something's off. Thank you to ZocDoc for sponsoring. Oh my God. For, I wish they would have got me medical attention because. Why didn't you get yourself medical attention? So she's, bl so here's what I'm hearing. She's blaming the police. <laughs> so like you gotta hear it though. She's like, I wish they would have did this because clearly you were saying some craziness. You were saying some stuff that you probably didn't want to say that was likely the truth because you were probably inebriated one way or the other through either the medicine and the alcohol mix. And you were probably saying some stuff about him that probably came out that was like the truth. Like he did this, he's done this, he's done this. And she's like, what she's doing is blaming the police for listening to her. Right? Oh, because as you know, a lot of people who are inebriated, they come out, it's their truth serum. They like, there's no filter. So she was likely saying some stuff that went down maybe even that night maybe before maybe or maybe before something was going on they arrest him for a reason and she's upset that instead of just inst while interviewing her they didn't call the ambulance first that's what she's upset about she said something we need the body cam footage what they did instead was horrible <laughs> they basically said like in in the state like the law if they're called to a domestic situation they have to separate. Like legally, it doesn't matter if there was anything mm -hmm. violent going on, if it's like that, like they have to separate for the evening. And they told us, we're gonna have to separate you for the night. Like mm -hmm. it's not a big deal. They were super like nice about it. And they said that because we admitted to drinking wine, they weren't they weren't gonna let either of us drive. They weren't gonna let Taylor leave, even though Taylor was not drunk. It had been hours. We didn't even drink that much. They You did. Said we don't have a breathalyzer on. Even the cops think that you should the cops didn't have a breathalyzer on them okay what so we can't let somebody get this body cam footage that you drive and so they said one of you guys have to come with us and that i mean it was literally one of us it wasn't like taylor's the bad guy we're gonna take taylor in it was one of you have to go in taylor volunteered to go in like he literally said take me don't take her mm. now this is where it gets pretty sus because if that's the case, if she's having a medical emergency and he, and he believes it, you're going to leave her there by herself? Why not just take her because she's the one having the medical emergency and you can monitor her? Maybe take her to the hospital for the night. I don't know. But no, let's leave the girl with the medical emergency alone in the wilderness, in the middle of nowhere, according to Taylor. In the middle of nowhere. We believe you. Somebody get this body cam footage. And that was it. I was left there and they took Taylor and that was the last thing that I remember other than they're lying. I called you. Whatever she said to that cop in that interview, because she's super upset about that interview. That's what made this all change. She said something and that's what changed the cops thing. Like in, cause she says, I'm so upset that he interviewed me while I was inebriated and she's admitting that she was okay. So something she said there triggered this cop to be like, we're taking somebody away when you were in jail mm -hmm. and we coordinated the bail money and i bailed him out the next day mm -hmm. if he was oh you're such a good wife doing something to hurt me 
I would not be allowed to bail him out legally. I would have had to remain separated from him until the court hearing. That's the way the law works. I would not have been allowed to pick him up. I feel like I don't believe you. in their eyes, they were probably just chalking it up to while they were drinking. They didn't look You were drinking any more into it. And it wasn't until I went to the doctor like I don't know, a week or so later, and I was telling her about the situation and she was like you took your medication the same night you were drinking. I was like, yeah. And she said, you cannot drink with this medication. You're just randomly telling your doctor your husband got arrested? Okay. Like, at all. Like, no, okay. for that so, for period, that, we didn't know why it had happened. We weren't sure. We were like, maybe maybe we maybe were more drunk. Wrong with my brain. Maybe there was maybe, something yeah. wrong with the wine. Because like, we had drank that bottle of wine before, like when we would play games and stuff. But it had never, like, she had never acted like that. No. So we were just for a week or more, mm -hmm. you know. We were like 10 days or so. If you don't mind me asking, what is the medication? It was called Cymbalta. Cymbalta, okay. Yeah. And basically when you combine the two, what what, like, what did your doctor describe to you? Hallucinations. Okay. Just being in a totally different like distressed okay. state. Like you're not going to understand. So they're admitting right out loud, I was in a distressed state, I was in an emergency, and they left her in the middle of nowhere. That's why I don't believe this bullshit. It's a lie. She's lying to you. They're lying to you. Because they're saying it right now, how much of a state she was in. And they left her alone in the middle of nowhere. So if she wanted to drive, and she's like, I need to drive, I need to drive. She want, You think she's just out of the state as soon as the cops leave with him? Right? What's stopping her now from picking up her keys and driving now? Like they just, none of it's making sense. None of it. It wasn't the meds. Something else. They were just drunk and they fought. They were drunk fighting. That's it. That's all there was to it. That's it. She told that cop something that that triggered him to go arrest. That's it. I'm sorry. I, I, you can't. They're liars. They just, they are liars. They lied literally to the judge about how much money she makes. So they're lying about everything. Oh, and she's lied again about way more. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm saying. Who this woman is will blow your mind. For her past you will blow your mind like what's happening like yeah. that is a side effect of drinking with it so you looked you remember looking back on that night mm -hmm. even just like a day later and being like what happened mm -hmm. were you confused or did you still think a day later like when you woke up the next morning did you still think like he should have let me go like in the no car? i think once like some time had worn off i remember thinking i was so upset that they took him away like i was devastated and I shut up I could not understand why they took him I was making phone calls I was like how can I come get him I called him I was like I need to bail you out they said I have to pay this or whatever and I just remember being so upset and distraught that that had happened because I don't think you got him arrested there Lassie her idea in calling the police was, was to ever get him in trouble. It was like, let's get answers to this question of whether or not. No, don't put words in her mouth. That's not why she called the police. She called the police because she wanted to leave. She thought you were in the wrong. She thought you were holding without her consent or whatever. That's why she called the police. She didn't call the police to get some answers. You're so, why are you guys lying? It's so easy to just call out your lies. You're so bad at this. Cake and leave. Like yeah. this was this big question in the air. And so when they showed up and they're like, yeah, we're going to separate you. Kay's like. Why? Yeah. What does separation so, usually look like, though? Is it always someone going yeah. to jail? Um, no. Unless there was a third party there that could have that taken could, me away. Uh, yeah. Which so, would have happened. Can you go stay in a hotel for the night or something? Hmm, interesting. No, I don't think that that's true. Remember, in the, I, I, in the, is this in the same state as the Gabby Petito thing? And the cops are like, do you have somewhere to go tonight? Like, all he had to do was like, go stay at a hotel. Something's not... We need this body cam footage. And if it ever gets released, these people are done for. Happened if we had somebody there. But my question okay. then is, why would you have to pay bail then if it was like an option for him to just go for? Yeah, yeah. good question. They still have had to, to book him. Yeah, they, they still had to, had to put him in. Nah, something. Yeah, Matt and Abby do not believe a word that's coming out of these people's freckles. No. That's like the minimum like thing. Th were you in your brain though? Were you still convinced that uh, Tay was doing something wrong in that mm -hmm. in that moment? You're a liar. You're a damn liar. Of hysteria, you, you... Like, you mean the next day? Like, the, the, the day that happened and the police came, were you thinking, oh, my husband's keeping me from leaving, and you were... Like, were you okay with the police taking him away in that no. moment? No. I you begged them not to take him. Okay. I begged him. I said, no, no, don't take him. Don't take him. Because the only thing I wanted at the time was to just be allowed to celebrate my birthday. Oh my gosh, she's such a liar. I, They're not even good liars. I wanted to leave, but I didn't want them to take him. Like You have such a vivid memory of everything except for the time you bailed him out of jail? 
Okay. Back to that night, too. It's you. Does anybody believe them? Really? I keep hearing you wanted to leave. You wanted to leave, but it was to celebrate your birthday. Was it like we should go together? She wanted, to go, she wanted me yeah. to go, too. She wanted you yeah. to go. I wanted us to all hang out, like both of us to go hang out and go. Us all? Do something for my birthday. And. Which I, you imagine. <laughs> what a. T- like, let's take all this aside, all the drunkness and everything else, but you're like, you're so upset you can't celebrate your birthday? Get wrecked! You little baby? I can drive either, like, right? I can like, drink wine. Yeah. Oh, but they, they, they weren't drunk! You're allowed to drink with a certain amount of alcohol. Like, you're allowed to have a drink and a drive. One drink. Like, your blood alcohol has to be under a certain level, you'll be fine. But they're admitting that they, they drank enough that they couldn't drive. So, I'm pretty sure they're buzzed or drunk. They're drunk. They're lying to you. They just don't want you to know that they're drunks. That's basically it. They're, they're, they're ashamed because everything that they talk about, everything that's coming out, affects their image. The optics matter for them. Because they come across on social media like this cutesy little couple. They're so perfect. <laughs> Look at me. I'm going to eat this thing and roll my eyes. It's so delicious. Oh, backstory on Kay. And then let's travel. And let's wear beige clothes. And like, let's do this. And he's the mastermind of it. Their image is one of the most important things to them. Is the most important thing to them. Okay? It makes them their money. The way that they come across on the internet is really important to them. It makes them their money. So when this dropped, this was a big deal. Okay? And they thought it would go away. And it did. I did my video on it. And then no one really talked about it. Then it resurfaced. And then now it's kind of a big story. And now it's affecting their image. They no longer look like a cute little perfect little couple because he was arrested for domestic violence. Okay? And they're not going to look like a perfect, cute little couple when you find out her past and history and what she actually has done. She has a problem, and it's not just like her medicine doing it. I'm pretty sure they're both flaming alcoholics. Okay? She can't handle booze. She's very defiant when she drinks. She's a loser when she drinks. She, they should just, and they, again, they, they, they hide it all. The thing is, is that they come across like something that they're absolutely not. And the kids that they're raising inside of this environment see two things. They see the people when the camera's on and the people when the camera's off. And that child is going to suffer because of that dual personality type parenting role. Okay. They're gross. There's a reason she doesn't have custody, people. There's a reason. They're together for the money. They have 10.3 million subscribers on TikTok. They're together for the cash. That's it. And we'll do anything. Like, let's just break it down. They'll do anything in their power to not pay child support to her child. Think about it. Okay. They will, she will sell her portion of the LLC for zero dollars. So it doesn't look on paper like she makes money. They're fraudsters. And they're sitting on here with their crocodile tears telling you about the night they got drunk and fight and fought because they don't want you to be like, oh, we're like, we're, we're perfect. Don't forget, we're perfect. We wear beige a lot. We're perfect. No, you're, you're probably drunk assholes all the time. It's only a matter of time, too, before all this comes out. Yeah, he was drinking wine, so he was like, well, I'm not going to go drive right now. And it's like three in the morning. What are we going to do? Like, we're going to go drive in the tree, like around the trees? Yeah. yeah. It, what? Stupid idiot. And be by herself. It was like no, she, she wasn't to, trying to get away from me. No, 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 she just wanted to leave the house. She wanted to, to, to go and be like, let's go for a walk then. It's nice out. And drive and like celebrate her birthday. You said that even. Keep saying that. Stop saying that. And later that next day that you were like. You're really hammering that. It's because it's her birthday thing. That's, that's, it's like you got to say the thing. It's not the thing. Really, really echoing here. That was weird. You were, you felt like you had maybe come off, come off of whatever. Mm-hmm. hallucination you might have been mm-hmm. experiencing did you contact your doctor that day about no. like no she said in passing she's seeing her doctor a little later on and be like oh by the way my husband was arrested for domestic violencing and i was on my med- oh you were drinking oh yeah she said it in passing so yeah it wasn't that big of a medical emergency they were drunk that's the only thing going on here what happened they were both drunk because it didn't really like it didn't dawn on in me in hindsight that it, it's easy to know yeah in hindsight like looking at the situation like it's in my opinion pretty obvious like it wasn't just alcohol but at the time i wasn't thinking that and it didn't like it didn't chapstick register like oh i shouldn't have done this medication with alcohol and it wasn't until i had like my normal routine i had a, a routine follow-up appointment mm-hmm. that i mentioned like this happening because I thought like I I truly thought something was like wrong with my brain 
because I didn't understand in the same way that he understood that night. Like, it didn't make sense to me. Did you have some video or ring camera doorbell footage or something from We the were event? so poor. Like, <laughs> okay. we did not have... And, and that's where it, we kind of come back to all this. Like, we thought we were getting this whole thing expunged, by the way. We thought it was like... Well, it didn't. It got exposed instead. Uh-oh, spaghetti Like, wiped from the record because it, and he was found innocent and it was all dismissed. But apparently... But was it? We misunderstood and we didn't have the $3,000... Yeah, it like cost three to, grand to, like, get to it pay all cleared the expunged. Up. You guys are millionaires. You can't pay $3,000 to expunge this record that was going to come out. Something is not adding up, folks. They are literally millionaires. But we didn't have the money. So it never got expunged. But How do you get famous? You didn't think about that later when you became famous on the internet? Isn't on a charge like that. I feel like I've always hear as guilty or not guilty. Mm -hmm. And then what does that process look like? So any any like time you get charged for anything, even if it's like a, a big fine, like reckless driving or something, you have an appointment where you go stand in front of a judge. You've probably mm -hmm. seen them before where like the judge is talking to someone and they're up on the stand and they're like having some funny discourse or something. Those people what? <laughs> are coming to talk to the judge for whatever that e event was. And so I just had a day where I had to go and talk to the judge and our you mean a court appearance in front of a judge? <laughs> Look how much they're trying to pad this. You know, I had that one day where I just went in and it was like we had lunch with the judge. We had like, it was great. We had some mozzarella. It was fine. No, you stood in front of a judge, you asshole. You idiot. Like, look at how he's trying to say this. You know, when you go in for like a, D a DV and you have funny discourse with the judge, that's what I did. I had a funny discourse with the judge. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Come on now. Is your bullshit meter not like... I remember the judge actually like apologized like I went up and I had my time and I was talking to the judge and explaining the story and the, the judge apologized to you <laughs> yeah we believe that the judge was like you honestly shouldn't have went to jail like I feel I'm really so bad sorry this yeah. happened to you did you speak mm -hmm. at that hearing and so the judge could have dismissed it there but you still needed three thousand dollars but the judge apologized yeah I don't know I think the judge has the power to be like you know what let's just expunge this thing this doesn't, yeah, we're gonna be like, we're really sorry, and it's like case dismissed, gavel gavel. Bye now, no record, that's all good. That doesn't make any sense. I didn't speak to the judge, I mean, she went with but me, I but did go, speak. and I did speak to somebody else in a room, like it was, I don't know if they were attorneys. Mm -hmm. well, you don't know, like look how much, look how vivid their memory is when she was drunk and high off the meds. But then the memory of everything after is like, I don't know if it was attorneys. I don't know if I had a funny discourse with the judge. Uh, the judge cried for me and we hugged it out. You don't remember any of that stuff, but you remember the night? Come on now. Come on. It was, it was two ladies and I did. Look what they're being vague about and what they're not being vague about. They have such a sharp memory of the night, of every absolute second that passed and everything went on. But everything after is like, it is, you know, it just, it's foggy. Speak with them prior to his hearing. And I told them this, the series of events, how I remembered them. And I told him about my doctor's appointment. I told him everything. And I, all I could do at that point was just advocate that he was. No, 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 no. She's lying about the doctor's appointment. Because. Didn't at the beginning of the video, she said she's like a while later she went to the doctor and the doctor said, hey, you know, this is this. Oh, unless the, this court appearance was like way later. I thought this was like the next day thing. Not a bad person. He did not hurt me. Like there, it was not, it didn't go down the way that like it was saying in the police report. Oh, snap. There it is, everybody. There it is. Can we get our hands on this police report? Because that's what she missed for the whole part of the story. Hear what she just said there. Because it didn't go down like the police report said it went down. So you lied to the police? Or the police are lying? So there's some police corruption in the story now. This thing is getting crazy, everybody. It's now police corruption. The police lied. Oh my gosh. Essentially, they believe, I mean, they were like, I'm so sorry, this this whole thing has been, you know, taken out of proportion. I mean, it no, no, it hasn't it just blew up and it was not ever meant to be. It should. So what's in the police report then? I hope they follow up. So what's in the police report? If the judge is bringing a police report and like the police, what? What's in the police report? Never ever been that way. Why don't you guys release it then? If it's not such a big deal. You have it. Was the judge able to make a ruling only hearing your account? Like, as, I, do I they imagine have that maybe that they write up like <clears throat> talk to 
her and she mm-hmm. says, I don't know. I don't know all the I'm, background. I'm, I don't know. We, we don't know anything except for the every detail of the night. I'm assuming, yeah, they, that she knew, like, everything I said. And since I was saying he's innocent, he's he didn't do what, you know. What the police report said I said he did. Because the police report isn't going to put words in her mouth. The police are taking notes, have a body cam, hopefully. I hope they did. Of the event, writing down what you said. They're not going to make it up to get up to just arrest them for no reason. Which they didn't even think that you did anything because they gave you the charge that they gave him. It was like a harassment was charge. was a harassment it's like charge. the lowest one they can give. Mm. You have to. Make, he has to make sure it's the lowest charge you can get. Harassment's like the lowest charge. Like, I don't know about the other guys who murder and stuff, but my charge is like harassment. It's like, I don't know if you guys knew this, but it's the lowest one. He's like, he's giving, you know, it's the lowest one you can get. <laughs> okay, you're still arrested. To when you get charged with, like, when they come out to a call like that. They have a reason to charge you with harassment and domestic violence. She said something in that police report that caused them to do that. You guys are absolutely lying right now. And that's making me really upset because you're bringing it slowly. You have to peel it back. And then she said something. Oh, the police report said what? What did you say in the police report? What did you say to the police officer? Why are you keeping that from us? You seem to remember everything about that night. Why don't you say, here's what I told the police officer. Even if you say, look, I was drunk and high off my meds. I shouldn't have said these, but this is what I said. Why don't you say that? What are you keeping from people? You're such damn liars. It's automatically going to be a DV charge because we're domestic. We're married. We weren't married. We weren't married. And, we weren't married. Right. I'm married. and then it wouldn't be a domestic charge. If it would we just be friends, the same charge without it. Right. But it has to be considered a DV charge. And it was the... Listen to these people just like go to great lengths to, to knock this thing down. When she likely said something to the police officer. The lowest charge they could give him, essentially, because they were like, we have to take you in, so we have to charge you with something. And they give him a harassment charge. It's not an ab- doesn't make any sense. abuse charge. They didn't believe he abused me. They didn't believe he hit me. So I think all of that, too, in front of the judge. Did you say he hit you, though? Judge, she's thinking, okay, well, he literally was just trying to, I mean, what should he have done? Yeah, there's like should three have, options, there's right? There's three options. I could have, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, they remember there's three options right remember to say the thing they have her they have like rehearsed this interview so closely there's three options there's three options you he either keeps me on the bed tries to hide the keys do what he did or do what he did don't forget she said that keeps me on the bed he was physically holding her down that's what's happening right now they're starting to bring it's starting to leak out a little bit or he lets me leave there you go she told them he was being physical with her that's it why don't you just tell the truth? Because even if the, the truth is like he was doing it for my own safety, okay, we can understand that, right? If he's beating you around and like trying to knock you out, that's a little bit different. If he's holding you down for your own safety, that makes him look good, in my opinion. Like if he, if he, th- he thinks you're in danger, he's holding you down. That's the reason you called the police. You guys got physical. Just say it. Why are you so scared to say it? And the fact that they're so scared to say it speaks volumes. Okay, that's they're afraid to say it. They're afraid, they're afraid to say the truth because the truth is gonna be like, well, he was violent with her. That's it. That's the only way. That's the only reason it's making any sense. And what's the third option? Calling for help. Or calling but for help. I like took a vow, right, to protect Kay and Sigmund's oh, health. Oh, here we go. And so like the. What about protect your child? Did you take a vow to your child? Probably not. Third option or the option of letting her leave isn't even there. I had two options: call for help or try to keep. Why didn't you call for help then? Why don't you call the ambulance? You told everybody she was having a medical emergency. She said the same thing because you rehearsed that phrase. Okay? So why didn't you call for this medical emergency? No, you just wanted to hold her down in the bed for a medical... Are you a doctor? The medical emergency was happening by your own admission, and yet you did nothing about it. That's a little worse! Her from hurting herself. And I did both. both. And they were both <laughs> <wrong>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't call the police or anything. I didn't call the ambulance. Ha, 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 joke, jokes. You guys are damn liars. This is crazy to me that they get to sit here and just lie to everybody's face. And you know the comments can be like, we love you, King King. They're lying to you guys. They said it's a medical emergency. They didn't they didn't allude to any physical violence happening, but then just admit right now, he was holding her down to some degree and probably told the police that. That he's probably, I don't know if he's holding her down like in a chokehold or something. I don't know. Okay, she didn't like it, whatever it was. So she called the police. If it's a true medical emergency, like you said it was because you rehearsed the phrase, you would have called for the medical emergency. And you didn't. Case freaking closed. 
I rest my case. Certainly. I guess, no. yeah, one could say, like, if you're keeping the keys, you easily could have kept a phone from that phone call being made. But you I could wanted, have, yeah. Wanted I wanted the to police call. to be there. Mm-hmm. He thought they were going to help. And I think that's where, like, this whole thing. I wish he didn't think that. I wish he would. I wish he wouldn't have trusted the police because when they got there, I told them what happened. And then they arrested him. So. But if thought, no, they're not going to help her because then we wouldn't be in this situation. Do you wish he would have kept the phone from you that night, too? I wish he would have kept the phone from me, but I think I understand why he didn't, and I don't blame him for that at all. All Because... These people, the depths they will go to lie to people to keep their money. And can you blame them? They, they, their millions are at stake. There are millions of dollars at stake here. If they get canceled, they'll still make money. They'll still be... They'll just be... They don't want to be villains. Some people thrive in villainy as influencers, okay? They love it. Adriel Sigler is one of them who just loves being a fucking villain. Loves it. Okay, some people don't mind. Jess Fam likes to be the villain. She just does not bother her at all. Talker to doesn't, doesn't mind being the villain. I'm not joking. They don't mind. Okay? These people, they mind. They don't want to be villains. They don't want to be, they don't want to have hate watches. They don't want to have a big following of hate. They hate that they have a, a Reddit that hates them. They hate it. Okay? They have an image to uphold. That image is of like purity and like uh, calmness and no domestic violencing okay they have an image to uphold they want that because it's it's a good it's a better image that is a better image than being a villain okay and there are a lot of influence out there who just turn into villains and they don't mind okay it just happens because they are truly the villainy always comes out the real truth always comes out about influencers always okay and it's always something gross and again this dv charge is literally a drop In not a bucket, in an ocean of shit that you're about to find out about her, okay? And I don't even know anything that much about him, but that's all going to come out too, okay? It's going to eventually all come out. The bigger you get, the harder you fall because you've crossed lines, you've pissed people off, you've burnt bridges, how to get there. And these people, again, because of who they really are, imagine having a daughter and he's like, and he admitted on the last podcast that he loves this girl. Right, she calls him stepdad or whatever when he gets to the house, and he loves her. Does he though? Because you guys are doing everything in your power not to give her everything she needs. You're doing everything in power, including selling your business to him for zero dollars, so you don't have to give her support. Does that sound like people who love that kid? Right. And again, just a drop in an ocean of shit that you're about to find out. And at the end of the day, I blame myself for not. You shouldn't. I mean, it was a medical emergency. Like you, I know. you weren't in the right mind. Did people in your life pull you aside after hearing about that and question you? Um, oh, I think yes. everybody's always just... Did they think this was going to work? <laughs> Did they think people were like, oh, well, understood. Now it's all cleared up. Man, I have more questions now than I did before. It's been so supportive over... I mean, they understood. Like, when we told them what happened, like, they understood that it was not us. And they've always just... I mean, they don't think differently of us. You know, I mean, they're with this whole situation going on. I, I mean, all our family has texted and called and said, I'm so sorry this is happening to you guys. Like, we know the true story and it is just so. No, you don't. You know the story they told you. Sad that it's being spun like this. It's not being spun. You're the one just admitting it right now. We had, we assumed that he was being physical with you in some way. Okay. That's domestic violence. He was arrested for that thing. You clearly told the police he was doing that because he was clearly doing that. Now, regardless of whether he was doing it because he felt that you were in danger, just say that. But you won't. You refuse to say it. So he was being physical with you in a way that was probably not agreeable to you. So you called the police. So I don't care. Just say the truth then. The truth will set you free. No, it won't. Because they know that's not us. They know that Taylor would never do that to me, ever. And here's the thing, like, I've lived abuse. I know abuse, and I would never, after getting out of it, I would never be with somebody that did that to me. There she goes again, throwing the other dad under the bus. I've lived abuse. I've lived it. And and she says these things, and she wonders why people are so upset, because that dad doesn't get to speak up for himself. He gets he, He's protecting his kid, and I appreciate that, and that's awesome. I wish he would reach out to me. Um, I actually have reached out to him and he just doesn't want to talk to me. And that's just the way it is. I have other sources though, that are telling me things that are on the inside here. Okay. But the issue is, is that like, 
she, it, it pisses me off so badly because she gets to say all these things on these massive with this massive audience that she has and she could say it and people would just believe her and that's really dangerous because i don't think that's the case i think she's the problem because she doesn't have custody ever so i'm a little insulted that people oh, are you insulted Remember she said that. I'm a little insulted because when it comes out what she's done and who she really is, you let's see how insulted you are. People would think I'd stay with somebody after what I've been through. What have you been through? Mm -hmm. Um What have you been like Matt and Abby are like, holy shit, we don't believe this. What have you been through? He's a great man. He's literally the person that like Here comes the tears. pulled me out of the worst point in my life. And that's why I blame myself. That's why I'm I've always been mad at myself for that night we yeah. gotta this woman who like claims to be this amazing mom and i just gotta point it out i'm just gonna say it i'm gonna allude to it she's only a mom when it mattered to her to make money okay just save that put that in your head so that's gonna come out later over it as soon as it was yeah i mean like we she, put she, it in our past she picked you notice how they were wearing white me up and she was so apologetic oh and she was like God. i'm so sorry like i shouldn't have called the police like i understand now and like she, i was just like it's not a big deal like it wasn't to us like even the cops were like it's not a big deal and the next day she kind of a big deal now isn't it built me out <laughs> and it wasn't a big deal and then they dismissed it and then i was innocent and it's like it it wasn't a big deal it really yeah, wasn't well, didn't dismiss it. You didn't pay your $3,000 to dismiss it or whatever. It's like a one-day thing. Five and a half years ago, it ended. And we put it mm -hmm. behind us. We've made mm -hmm. a lot of smarter decisions since then. I would say it taught us a lot. Like, don't mix alcohol with your medications. I'm on a lot more now, so I have to be more careful. Has an episode similar to that night five and a half years ago, health-wise, happened to you since then? I did have, like, a reaction to... I was in the hospital um, during COVID, and... At the time, had, I was by was myself. Having, having really bad breathing. And I, I was having asthma her. problems, and they gave me medication, and I had a bad reaction to it. It was through my IV, and I called him, and I was like, I don't understand why they have me here. Like, I was super she confused. She was so confused. Of what. Maybe she stopped drinking. So, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm sensitive to medication. It was very... Maybe you're sensitive to alcohol. Maybe you're an alcoholic. Similar. I remember, like, because I, I couldn't go in. It was during, you know, all the COVID. So a different medication did the same thing to you. That's really weird. Stuff, so I can go in. And I remember yeah. thinking during that event, like, this is, like, so familiar. Because she thought the nurses were, like, wanting to hurt her and stuff. And she didn't understand why she was in there. And, yeah. Gosh, it makes me sound so crazy. No. It Wait till you find out how crazy she actually is. This is the only two events this has ever happened. But they were it two different medications. It wasn't, a, like... This is the least of your worries about craziness. I promise you. <laughs> like... <laughs> Tay and Tay, like, they know that I know what I know, right? They know. And I can't say much more, but they know that I know. But they know that I know. And they are worried about what I know. Okay? Just putting it out there. It was, they had given her something and she had a bad reaction. Oh, and if you're wondering, Kay and Tay, because you are watching this, I do know. The things that you think I don't know, I do know to it and that was it because she went in for breathing it's crazy problems mm -hmm. she was having asthma and you might as well just come out with it before i do so she went in to like because she couldn't catch her breath and her ass what is it called the thing wasn't working puffer albuterol yeah the albuterol wasn't yeah. working no i was on breathing treatments and stuff but anyway did the medical staff that day recognize that oh, there yeah. was yeah. a cognitive issue happening yes. mm -hmm. they knew and they told they called him and they were like they must be paying Matt and Abby to be on this podcast because they, this is such a worthless podcast to them. This is like not interesting. They're, I don't I don't know if they'll get as many views as they did last time. So they had 26,000 views on this and it was released last night. It's not getting the same kind of coverage, but we'll go through the comments after. Like she's, we're not going to give her this medication anymore. Like she's clearly having a reaction. They had the doctor in there and everything. Um, so that was all like squared away with that situation in the hospital. Mm -hmm. I think if there had been a medical personnel on site when all that happened in 2019 i think <coughs> we would have probably not had that situation happen be completely different. if there was a medical personnel on site at your house when you took the medicine it wouldn't have happened okay thanks what it yeah. would have been different what was yeah. this your first night ever staying in a jail it was it was my only time ever it was very weird what was that experience like it was so chill at first i remember like the, like she was saying, the cops were so chill. They were like, Dude, it was so chill to go to jail. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Like, 
we got to take you in. Like, don't worry about it. And like, I remember him apologizing like 12 times when we drove there. Cause like I said, we're in the middle of nowhere. It was like a 30 minute drive to get to the jail or whatever. Yeah. And I just remember him apologizing. And then when we got there, everyone in the booking was like laughing and having a good time. Were you handcuffed in the car? He, un- he unhandcuffed me while I was in the car. Uh, so yes, you were handcuffed. Um, he had to re-handcuff me. This was not to- a big dramatic situation. Oh, a liar. So yeah, you get in the car. Let me take your handcuffs off. Okay, when we get to the police station, you can put your handcuffs back on. Are you serious? Where's this body cam footage? Somebody get it. I will pay five hundred dollars for this body cam footage. U.S. Not Canadian because it's only like three fifty American. Okay, five hundred U.S. If someone can get me this body cam footage. No, it was like yeah, it really wasn't. Um, when I got there, I had to. I guess it's just like a protocol. Um, but. Yeah, anyway, so I get there, and we're, like, they're all, like, laughing and stuff, and, like, it's, it was just the most chill thing. The guy, like, he was like, hey, make sure, like, wear, wear socks, wear this other stuff, because, like, because, you know, you have to change in, like, jail clothes and stuff. And he's like, dude, wear all your shirts and stuff, because it'll be cold. Like, don't, don't take off your shirt. Like, put that underneath. And he was, like, giving me advice and stuff. Do you believe any word coming from this redhead's face? Do you believe a word coming out of this guy's mouth? He was so nice to me. We were buddies. We were playing Baccarat. It was nice. It was good. We watched Harry Potter. We just snuggled a little. You know, we brought a blanket in. We snuggled. He made popcorn. It was great. I know, I know he's better than Tay. And yeah, I mean, it was hey. just, yeah. I think I got a lot of hate online because when I took the mugshot photo, I smiled. Yeah, you butthole. Why'd you do that? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, I've never been to jail. It's not because you weren't taking it seriously. And you think it's funny. You think it's funny you're just arrested for domestic violence. You're like, yeah, yeah, me. Like, they're trying to blow this over like it's nothing, but that's a big deal. The person that laughs in the worst situation, like, very, if he's feeling awkward or uncomfortable, he laughs. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. If you get arrested, you're not laughing about it. I'm sorry. Like, that's just how he is. I'm also conditionally trained to anytime anyone's taking my picture since birth, they're like, smile for the camera. This guy was in the military. Highly doubt it. I've conditioned since birth to smile for a camera. Have you ever had your license picture taken? You're not allowed to smile. You've been in the military before? Yeah, he has. Probably not allowed to smile in your picture. Shut up, you damn liar. You know, it's what? like... That's not, like... That was the cringiest answer, and it was so fake and a lie. How does this... Like, Matt's not believing a word he's saying either. Neither is that, Like, they're trying to take it seriously. He's laughing. They're like, how are you here lying like this? This mugshot surface five and a half years later. Like, why now? Why? Because I got a hold of it, and I surfaced it. That's how. And randomly like you guys have been doing social media uh what two or three years like why why randomly now in 2024 because people hate fake people and they like to call out fake people Doo-doo-doo. and you're fake five and a half years later are people seeing uh this mugshot of you we can't really go into the details like we For know legal reasons some- <laughs> can't go into detail one in her life the judge, apparently, if you look at the, the, the files and stuff, like she was petitioning to get this from, like, she, they're not allowed to talk about it, I guess, because she's like saying, I want a gag order on this whole thing. That's, I think, the, and I think the judge sealed it after, but we got the records on Reddit before. So she's obviously, it's in their best interest to seal this and not have it all public. That's why. If leaked it, and we've, we know, and like, wait, what, wait, what happened? We For know legal reasons? someone in her life leaked it, and we, we know and like with you don't know shit they think they know but they don't know (laughs) and i mean eventually one day they probably will find out hopefully that person is like i'm gonna tell you but it's literally public publicly available this information when you get big and famous okay people will start looking for dirt on you that's just the way it is people you know i mean people probably looking for dirt on me and they haven't found it because there isn't any. But you know how many people would because they hate me? And I'm not even a big ch- fan of 10 million subscribers. This is this is what you get. This is why you shouldn't put kids on the f***ing internet. Because this is the types of things that people will do. And they will, like, oh my gosh. It's like there's no other, like, you guys are suffering through the worst part of your life probably because this got released. And it's going to get a lot worse, I promise you. But you think that's bad. But you still, it doesn't cross your mind or the or the, the things aren't crossing or zinging together that maybe I shouldn't have my kid on this no out of without a doubt no. without a doubt there's they, they they think without a doubt they know who gave it to me we have proof but you don't have any proof you have zero proof 
I said to them, I said, hey, Kaylee, I'm happy. To, I'm happy to hear a comment from you on why you left your daughter out of your wedding or the DV arrest of Taylor. Happy to hear all sides. So I'm reporting accurately. She says, I'd love to answer some questions, but first I'd love to know about the comment you made about me telling my daughter she would be could be a flower girl. That's so random that you would speak that as fact when that was a conversation that would have happened between me and my five year old daughter. I didn't speak it as a fact. I said, take this with a grain of salt because I cannot be corroborated because it can't. My sources cannot be corroborated because I never give my sources up who want to stay anonymous. Are you denying it then? Because if so, I'm happy to include that in the clarification in the next video I do about you two. Honestly, got to give you props for not just blocking me. Most people do. And then she hearted that. Take some balls to answer back. I do have to say, though, there are lots of people from your life who want to talk to me. So I'd prepare yourself. And that's true. It's not she. I, I don't know who she thinks it is, but I guarantee it's not the person she thinks it is. So I'd prepare yourself. And I'm actually serious when I say I will absolutely be able to respond to the allegations before I release the videos if you want me to include a statement. Also, you see Taylor. Also, you see Taylor took the fall for someone that when he was arrested. That's something I could include if you want me to clarify the case. I do know it was eventually dropped. Since we've spoken in the one hour, I've had three people reach out to me who know you, what you have done, and to those in your life. Oh, and if you're thinking of trying to sue me or send me cease and desist, good luck. I know my rights because I've been served like 10 times. I wouldn't waste your money and give me more content. Now, I did tell them I wasn't going to share these DMs, but she's sitting there saying that she has proof of this. And I want to make sure you guys know she doesn't have any proof. I did not give up any sources because I would never. So I'm not going to sue you. I'm sure you're very careful of how you say things. And honestly, I wouldn't care less to waste my time and resources. Give me a second. I'll send you my reply. This is Taylor. I'm talking to not Kaylee. The comments she made about Taylor and my looks were very <laughs> rude and uncalled for. Building a platform based on hate like that isn't right. You're trying to push this message that you're a channel trying to get children off the internet. Again, they're just, they didn't corroborate whether or not I said, is it untrue that you were going to have your daughter as a flower girl? They didn't answer that back, basically. Before you know the truth, you're hating on our appearance and excusing because you may not be bad people. You are bad people. You exploit child children. Um, shouldn't you be unbiased until you know the truth? I don't need to know the truth. The truth is that you exploit your child and you are child exploiters. That's the truth. I'm sure in your line of work, you did the research and found that Taylor was indeed innocent of the case dismissed. So they're just saying it all now. If someone in my life is telling you that I told Kinsley that I would let her be the flower girl and didn't have her in my wedding, I'd say that person isn't very credible seeing as we didn't even have a wedding. Hmm. I saw some wedding pictures though with family there. Oh. Huh. Taylor and I eloped in a public park because we ended up not having the funds that we thought we would need for a wedding. Taylor had some money saved up and got some money from when he was medically discharged from the military, and the money wasn't for what we thought he was going to get. We chose to use the money we had saved to go on a longer honeymoon instead of not having a wedding. Again, you have wedding photos that don't include your daughter, who could have been a flower girl at the wedding in the park. That wasn't a wedding, apparently. She says, we didn't even have a wedding. And then in the next sentence says, Taylor and I eloped in a public park. You mean got married in a public park? Okay, okay, cool. The only reason she wasn't there is because we had a deadline before we started working after we separated from the military. This is so stupid. Anyway, they're lying about all this stuff. Maybe I'll release it all one day. I'm not showing you all the comments. Uh, the, and then I, I wrote back, the comments you made about Taylor and my looks were very rude and uncalled for. I said, I heard this a lot. And to a degree, I... To degree, I agree. I agree. But I see it like this. You exploit this child. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. It's it's inarguable. So you, I like to carve out a little karma for payback for you doing that. Honestly, you two are fine looking. But I like to dig a little and throw some surface shade. Honestly, it, I could be a lot worse. But it's kind of my thing to do. Trust me. I know I look like a balding potato too, which is the irony of it all. But it's what's bring people to the channel. The snark. The truth. The receipts. Anyway, um, I want you to know that they don't have, I'm, I'm showing you this stuff. I'm telling you this stuff because there's a huge, huge conversation between them. And I did not give up any of my sources. And there's more than one, by the way, these people have a lot of enemies. It was just to it make hurt. Just to hurt me. I mean, it's, it's been that way for a long time. How does that? Mm, I wonder if it hurts though, when you don't pay your child support. Yeah. You think it's going to hurt Kinsley? Whatever hurts your child that you're exploiting right now. Is that going to hurt eventually? Yeah. Okay. That effect your your mental health it sucks it, it oh your mental health hurts a lot to know that this individual hates me so much that even knowing the situation and knowing what happened that night they leaks how do they know who what, what stuff like this just to see people do what they're doing right now and that's exactly what this person wants. what telling the truth about who you guys really are is that you, you guys just don't want the truth about who you are out there just be honest. Look, we've got a freaking image to cultivate that makes us a lot of money. And that image is being destroyed by the truth. That's what they don't want. They don't want the truth of who they are to come out. And it's going to come out. 
and holy shit. It's way worse than this TV charge. And it's nauseating because I feel like bullies, mean people, they almost always just get away with doing this stuff. And then... Oh, we're all bullies. We're bullies because we want the truth of who you are. Okay. Well, you're a dumbass, and you deserve to be bullied if you exploit children on the internet. Okay? I'll say it again loud and clear. You ready, my haters? Get ready, Reddit haters. You got it? If you exploit children, you deserve to be bullied. Big time. Okay? Big time. You don't deserve anything good your way if you exploit children. You don't deserve the money you have, the houses you buy, the vacations you take when you exploit children. You deserve to be snarked on. You deserve it. And that could be way worse than I am. Okay, you deserve it. When you hurt children, when you take advantage of children, when you take advantage of their childhood and you put them on the internet and you put them in danger, when you look at my interview with Dr. Leslie Dobson and the people out there consuming your content, when you put your child in danger, when you travel all over the world and you do like you do craziness and you're fake and this child sees two different sets of parents and you exploit them without their consent, you deserve to be bullied. You got it? Am I, should I be more clear somehow? Should I have a shirt that says exploiters deserve to be bullied? Because that's the truth. You deserve it. And more. You should be in jail. We, that's why we're telling our story. That's why we're telling the truth. Because no, the reason you're telling the truth is because your image has been affected. And it's affecting your bottom dollar. That's it. And it's going to get worse. You wait. You just f***ing wait. It's not right. We could have stayed silent, but then nobody would know that that's... That we have to lie more. It's not even what happened in... You lie. You just lied this whole interview. She's saying she's going on this thing like she just didn't lie for 30 minutes. Taylor's a great person. It sucks. It hurts a lot. Look, no one's saying Taylor's not a great person. We're saying you're not a great person. <laughs> and that's going to come out. This is on you, okay? I mean, he's probably not a good person either, but I don't have any sources talking to me about his past. So it's not Taylor. It's you. We think you're the damn liar. Okay. Because it's not just affecting me, even though that's what they want. They want to hurt me. It's affecting our whole family. I mean, our whole family. There's Here's how you can change that. You ready? Bring it on in here. Bring it in here. <laughs> you don't like people talking about you and your 10 million subscribers and your millions that you make? You want... Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> Get off the internet. Get off the f***ing internet. Delete your channel. You know, these people always cry about how hard their life is. and <laughs> but, they, but they make millions of dollars. And they... they eat, Snap of their fingers. All this goes away. All that stress and anxiety goes away. Get off the internet. It's real easy. You have a choice to make. Idiots. They always say that, but never is in the conversation to be like, I'm leaving the internet. It's That's never in the conversation. So clear it's not affecting you that much. Okay? I might make this two parts because it is two hours. I think I might make it two parts. I'm going to make it two parts. Yeah. Make it two parts. So this is the end of the first part. And then I'll do another ending for the second part. Sorry for the super long podcast, but that was really, 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 really important. Okay, because the things that we know, that I know, are going to come out. And okay, it's not who you think it is. Okay, don't be such an idiot. It really isn't. And I know you think it is. We have proof. No, you don't. Because the proof doesn't exist. You're such a liar. Such a liar, man. You had to lie about so much stuff. It makes me wonder, too. Again, $500 reward. American. Body cam footage, police report. I want to see it. I want to see it. So there you go, everybody. K and Tay podcast. Please take a deep breath with me. Whew, these buttholes. So tomorrow we're going to do part two. We're going to stick to that because it's a very, very, very long podcast and there's nothing that was left unsaid that we got to make. We got to keep talking about it. Tomorrow is a doozy. He says some craziness. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Do not miss it. Okay. I'm telling you, it's probably more important than today's. But these guys are damned liars. That's what we've proven today. But you're not. You're amazing, incredible, and valuable. And I will see you tomorrow.